Oh, what are you doing here? Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to do an unboxing of the exclusive digital turn. Yeah, I can't very well open this in my room because I don't have the space, but here you go, guys. This is the exclusive digital turn. Four pieces. It gives you a full turn and it fits just fine over a normal uh, three lane track uh, turn. So we're gonna go ahead and um, actually unbox it. First time unboxing this one for me. So I know there's gonna be track in it. I don't know what else is gonna be in it. So I'm pretty sure there's really nothing too exciting other than the track itself. And um, this is the part of the track that you want to, um, what do you call it, to prepare for if you ever go to the Japan Cup or if you just wanna worry about the uh, Digi the uh, sliding damper this is the best way to test it basically because uh, I have seen them uh, I've, I've already gone through them if you guys have watched my last video you will see that they are kind of difficult to go through while keeping your speed so let's push that aside <coughs> let's put this up so there you go that's that's the digital curves, guys. Hold on, we're gonna go get a car so that we could actually fit. And I could show you guys how it actually works. I don't have the sliding dampers built yet, but we're going to. I'm going to actually work on one. I've figured out a way to make it without really too much, um, what do you call it, tools. And that will probably be an upcoming video. So if you guys stay tuned, you will see that. I'll be right back with the car. Okay, so this is the uh, D-Bold Avante that I just built, named after the company that I work for right now. And so you guys see how it works. I don't have the sliding dampers, but you guys could see how how severe the turns are. Really, it looks like it's about uh, like a 20 degree like angle every time that you hit it, perhaps even more. So that's how it looks guys, even the other way too. So um, your car, whenever it would hit this, usually what would happen is that it would bounce. And then once it does that, the back hits too over here. I think that's what it does, but I've never really done a uh, recording of the high speed. So we don't really have access to anything faster than 120 frames per second and even then you can't really tell if the back is hitting the uh, the other side of the walls too and uh, there you have it guys that's this has been the unboxing of the uh, digital turn if you'd like to see more videos like this please like subscribe and share and thanks for watching go race